Mpenzi mtazamaji kama ndio kwanza nafungua channel yako ya TFTV tafadhali subscribe ili uwe mwanzo kupata video zetu mbali mbali za ndani na nje ya nchi. Share video hii bila kusahau kudondosha komenti yako kwa ni muhimu sana. Here we are yet for another cop dubbed as a finance cop where we need to work together in solidarity for a green world. We meet at a time when the greenhouse gas emissions and temperatures are rising to record breaking levels with dire consequences particularly to developing countries. Climate change is not a distant concern, but a current reality. The last few weeks have seen catastrophic flooding in Spain, devastating fires in the Amazon, and torrential rains displacing millions in South Asia. My country has also not been spared by such catastrophic events, and they are costing us two to three percent of our GDP lost annually. While a total of $19.2 billion will be needed by 2030 to deliver on our NDCs, so far only about $500 million have been received, necessitating use of our own internal resources at the expense of other development projects and increasing our debt burden. And this scenario is now the order of the day across Africa. And this is obviously inappropriate and unethical for adaptation, loss, damage, and for Africa that never caused this problem. Since Copenhagen, the promise of real finance has been elusive. The finance corp, therefore, must move from empty rhetoric and come up with bold decisions that address the financing needs of countries corresponding to the urgency of the climate crisis. We look forward to a fit for purpose new collective quantified goal to replace the $100 billion goal agreed in 2009. This is indeed an opportunity to drive systemic change in climate finance because what will be agreed will inform climate action or inaction for years to come. Climate finance is about responsibility and justice as agreed and therefore COP29 must also maintain the momentum on loss and damage so that the fund does not become an empty shell, negating the gains made last year at COP28 in Dubai. Excellencies, Tanzania remains committed to contribute to global efforts to combat climate change. We are using own resources on projects that foster development and those that supply clean energy environmentally friendly transportation systems, improved early warning systems and waste management. In addition, Tanzania has a total area of 48.1 million hectares of forest reserves with an estimated carbon storage potential equivalent to 2% of the world's total carbon. Also, Tanzania has territorial sea area covering 64,500 square kilometers which provide a big potential for blue economy. We are committed to continue conserving these critical marine and forest ecosystems. Indeed, we are already acting in solidarity for a green world, even with our own meager resources. Yet the challenge we are facing is that carbon markets are not yet well fully defined and thus denying our countries the payments they deserve. There is lack of information and capacity to participate gainfully in carbon markets. To conclude, let me emphasize that we cannot talk about a just transition without focusing on clean cooking. That matters greatly to the majority of Africans. About 900 million people in Africa still cook using biomass fuels, resulting into deforestation, loss of carbon sinks, and deaths due to smoke-related diseases. For this reason, my president, Dr. Samia Sulu Hassan, decided to champion clean cooking on the African continent, and we call on COP29 to take up clean cooking as one of the priority areas under a just transition and mitigation finance discussions. As a show of leadership, Tanzania is implementing the clean cooking strategy to ensure the availability of clean, safe, and affordable cooking energy to about 80% of households by 2034 and has launched a Pan-African Women Clean Cooking Support Program 
that requires financial support of about $4 billion annually by 2030 to transform the continent with clean cooking solutions. Tiff TV na kupatia video mbali mbali kutoka ndani na nje ya nchi. Tafadhali endelea kutufuatilia kupitia channel yetu ya Tiff TV, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter na Instagram. Bila kusahau kudondosha komenti yako kwani ni muhimu sana. Tiff TV tupo kijamii zaidi.